In this video, I want to show you how to set up a Blink mini security camera that you can have in your home or your apartment or your office place that basically hooks up with the Wi-Fi and you can look at it, look at the footage of what's going on live at any time. And it's very convenient. I've had mine for a few years and I'm going to set up a second camera. But so the only thing you need to do to go ahead and set it up super easy uh, the only thing you want to need is uh, to download the Blink app. As you can see here, I got it downloaded already. Go ahead and you can get that on Blink's uh, web page or you can get it on uh, Google Play Store. It's free to download. When you get this Blink camera on Amazon, it averages from about 30 to 35 bucks a piece brand new. And I'll put a link in the comment section off of Amazon where you can get it directly. And it comes with the camera and it comes with the power cord. Now you can hook it up via USB to a laptop or a desktop or something that has USB but I prefer to plug it up directly to a wall outlet seems like it's more secure that way wall outlet All right, so for setup it'll start blinking um, green and then blue uh, waiting for you to go ahead and connect it to your app after you download it for whatever reason if you get a used one you can reset it by just holding down this little button right here it'll say reset and you can hold it down with like a paper clip for about five seconds and that will reset it so here's uh here's the blink app and this is where my first camera is located now the good thing about blink is you can have one camera in one location and then one at a completely different location so for example i got this in north carolina and i'm about to set another one up in virginia at my parents house so in order to set this camera up, the only thing you have to do is hit the, the plus here. All right, and then from there, what we're going to do is click wireless camera. And you could either enter the serial number, which is on the back, or you could just scan it. So I'm just going to go ahead and scan it, and you'll see that it'll do it automatically. So as you can see here, there's a, a little QR code right here on the very back. And what you're going to do is just hover over it. It'll automatically pick it up. So this is my first location in North Carolina, which is the prom in. And also have a storage. I'll explain that in a second. And I want to create a new one for my parents' house. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And go, click continue. And I'm just going to put mom on there. All right. So it'll discover the device here. Blinking blue, yes, blinking blue. So, discover device. Connect to the device, connect. So what you want to do now is find the Wi-Fi network in the house that the camera is located at right now and go ahead and choose it and then you're going to have to enter the Wi-Fi password where the camera is located. So, for example, my parents' house I'll go ahead and choose this one. This is where my parents are located. Now I have to enter the password. Connecting to Blink Services. Connecting to Blink Servers. Updating mini camera firmware. Do not unplug mini camera. Mini camera added to mom system. Click done. All right, let's push play. This shows the angle of the camera so let's go ahead and push play all right so as you can see the camera I got the volume on mute I'm not going to I'm not going to ignore you by the reverb sound so but you can hear what's going on if I hit if I click the sound button if I want to arm it so if I click arm that's going to make it to where if there's any movement in the in the camera's view then it will send me a notification up here I could just go down it'll send me a notification showing that there's movement in live time and then I can quickly go to my phone so as you can see there it says motion detected and this shows right now what the picture is of the motion detection and that way if I arm it before I leave then I then I uh, can be aware if somebody comes in or not. Be prepared though that if let me go ahead and unarm it to disarm it, we'll just click disarm. 
just be aware though when you do arm it if you have a pet or anything that could be moving in in your house or wherever you're filming or where it's the security cameras at that it will it will arm it now you can do certain areas so for movement like if you have a door you can make it to where it would only do a couple of grids so if you have a pet there below it won't distort it won't arm it or it won't indicate that there's someone in there it'll just indicate like if a door opens like if you do like the top so just be aware of that now if to, in order to record it uh, blink does offer their own storage but there is a fee for that um, i prefer to use a module that i will link also up in the comment section so basically it looks like this it's a little module and you could hook up like a little mini usb uh, thumb drive uh, i have like 25 gigs on mine and that way you don't have to pay a monthly fee you just keep uh keep it on at all times so you can see here if i go to storage that is my sync module that's plugged up in my other home so in north carolina i'm at promenade right there that shows live the other location from a state away all right, if you have any comments, put it in the comment section. If you have any questions, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe.